All right, this is going to be my last booby update before it's ready for maiden. Basically, I'm, I'm that close. The next video I have is gonna be, hey, it's ready for maiden. So let's just uh, we'll start on the bottom and then we'll uh, go from there. Um, I did use some, let me grab it here. Some of this um, half inch uh, fiberglass tape. Uh, it's very nice because I, I used to, when I needed parts, I would just cut some fiberglass and all the strands are coming off. And so this is nice. The only loose strands you have are at the very end. So um, I glued all the cores together with um, some uh, thick epoxy and filler. And then once that was done, I came top and bottom and went over the seam and it doesn't look amazing, but I'm sure it's going to be crazy strong. Um, I cut in <clears throat> a spot right there um, where all the electronics are going to go. Um, there is a 1100 milliamp NIM battery for basically four AAA batteries are up in there. And then um, they're right up against, and then I filled it with uh, some really wet um, brown Gorilla Glue, um, polyurethane glue, and so that just foamed up, and this is solid again. So um, These wires here are the um, outer aileron servos. This one comes in, loops in, this one comes in. Um, I still need to poke through the elevator servo, so that's just going to come out right there. So the components I need to fit in this area are um, a little radio. I'm still debating whether or not these are going to be poking out and visible, or if I'm going to put them in here. Still thinking about that. This is not um, like carbon fiber, so it's not going to block the radio. So I may just put it inside. Um, this is my charging jack and I may snip these wires short but basically this is going to be flush and just have this sticking above. Um, the way this works is this plugs into the radio, this end plugs into the battery and as it is right now it allows power to go through but as soon as you plug this in it kills the power going to the radio, so essentially it turns it off. And now these lines are connected. So um, if you're not using the plane, you just leave this in and it has no power. Um, but if you plug this into your charger, that's how you charge the battery. Then as soon as you're going to fly, you just pop that out and it turns on. So that's pretty cool. And then, as it seems like every slope has crazy bushes, I'm going to put in this, uh, also flush mount this, or maybe just have a hole for this uh, lost model alarm. So, and this will go exactly right back where it was, covering it. So, let's flip it over, see the other side. So, uh, the servos are just sitting in there. Um, what I had done is wrapped them in um, saran wrap, put some five minute epoxy and filler in there, and then squeeze this down in there and let it sit at, or set. And now there's a perfectly shaped hole for that servo. Um, this one actually is, you can kind of see a little bit more. I mean, there's a perfect spot. And then um, what I'll do is once that's set in, I'll just put some hot glue around the, the top just to keep it in place in case I ever need to take it out. Um, also, there are um, control horns that I cut out of fiberglass and they are five minute epoxied in there and are never coming out. Um, and then the other thing that I did um, is I used uh, some of this Autumn rain sealant silicone 
uh, clear. I used it to hinge the uh, control surfaces on. It makes a pretty nice, pretty flush. It's barely even a bump there. So I it's my first time doing it. Uh, this one is really floppy. Um, these ones here, they're, they're, it must be a little bit thicker in there. I think my circle will be just fine. On these thin, on these not very deep wings, you don't need much travel, and I have a kind of overpowered servo, but next time I'll have to try and make it uh, a little bit thinner. It's crazy how strong the silicone is. So, aside from the electronics, uh, the next thing to do is uh, mount the uh, vertical stabilizers. I'm going to go somewhere, somewhere right there. Remember again, CG is up here. So they are pretty far back behind CG. And uh, I'm just going to cut a little slit. Um, that this can just drop in in there, um, set it in there with, fill it up with five minute epoxy, and then I'll fillet the uh, all around it in the corners with some uh, epoxy and filler, and that should lock those in place. That then will be everything um, that needs to be in there to make it fly, and then I'll just then need to do CG, um, and so. Basically, I'm going to be filling up these tips. I'm going to put a little hole, get all that foam out, be putting lead in there and keeping it in place with epoxy because you think about this whole plane, everything on there has to balance <laughs> right there. So, um, But that's quite a lot of area to put some lead up in there. So second to last booby a uh, little build log it's coming along quick now <laughs> 